Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome back to another episode of Java Programming. Ugh, not the lag. Okay, good. Learn Java. So now we're going to do conditionals and control flow. So... So far, we've explored primitive data types in J Java syntax. As we've seen, Java programs follow the instructions we provided them, such as printing values to the console. We can also write Java programs that can follow different sets of instructions depending on the values that we provide to them. This is called, called um, control flow. Yeah, in this lesson, we'll learn how to use control flow in our programs. Take a look in, at the code in the editor. If it looks confusing to you right now, don't worry. After this lesson, you'll be able to read and write um, Java programs that um, use control flow. Click run to run the code. You ordered the cup of Java answer. answer you answered C, that is correct. Let's um let's look at a set of operators that we that let us use control um flow in our programs. These operators are called boolean operators. There are three boolean operators that we will explore. Let's start with the first one and and the and operator is pr represented in Java by and and it re returns the boolean value of true only when the expressions on both sides of and are true. For example, the code below shows one outcome of the boolean operator. So true and true prints true. The code below um, shows the rest of the possible outcomes of the boolean operators. And false and false prints false. False and true oh, prints false. True and false prints false. We can also use boolean oper the boolean operator and with boolean expressions such as the following. Two, 2 is less than 3 and 4 is less than 5 and that's true both of them are true so true and true the example above will print out true because the the um, statements 2 is less than 3 and 4 is less than 5 are both true use the um and operator and any um and any two boolean expressions of your choice between the parentheses of system dot out print line dot print line in order to print out a value of true or false to the console. So I'm just gonna do two is greater than five. I'm gonna do false ones. So by the way, if you guys didn't know, system dot out dot print line print stuff to the console, and five is less. Then four run and it should say false. Great. The second boolean operator that we'll we will we'll explore is called or. The or operator is represented in Java by um two lines. It returns a boolean value of true when at least one expression on either side of or is true. The um, code below shows all the outcomes of the boolean operator. False, false, prints false, false, true, prints true, um, true, false, prints true, 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 prints true. We can also use the boolean operator or with boolean expressions such as the following. Um, 2 is greater than 1 or 3 is greater than greater than 4. The example above will print out true because at least one statement, 2 is greater than 1, is true even um, though the other statement, 3 is greater than 4, is false. Use the OR operator and any two boolean expressions of your choice between the parentheses of, of system.out.println in order to print out the value, out a va value of true or false to the console. This time I'm going to use true. So, 5 is less than four for and no four is greater um no is less than five now it should say true true fantastic the final boolean operator will 
we will explore is called Knot. The Knot operator is represented in Java by exclamation mark. It will return the opposite of the expression immediately after. It will return false if the expression is true and if um if true and true if the operation is false. Um the code below shows all the outcomes of Boolean operator. The not Boolean operator false prints true, true prints false. We can also use the Boolean operator not with Boolean expressions such as the following um system dot 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 print line four is less than or equal or equal to ten is not true true is not true yeah so the example above will print out false because the operate the statement four is less than or equal to um ten is true but the um um not operator will return the opposite value which is false use the the not operator to return a value of true on the code for line four true true and use the um not operator to return a value of value of false for the code on line five they're true false the three boolean operators and or or not can also be used together and um used multiple times to form larger boolean expressions. However, with just the numerical operators, boolean operators follow rules that specify the in the order in which they are evaluated. The order is called boolean operator precedence. Okay. The precedence of each Boolean operator is as show follows is evaluated first, is evaluated second, is evaluated third. Like numerical expressions, every expression within parentheses is evaluated first. Ev expressions are also read from left to right. The following statement de demonstrates how Boolean operator pre precedence works. So we use the not first, the or um yeah, and then so this is true, and then the true and false um is true and false is uh what was it true and false uh, I don't remember. What was it? Well, I'm gonna have to go back. Sorry. True, true, and false prints false. Yeah. No, 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 no. You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Sorry. Next. So, yeah. True and false is false. True or false will print out true. The example above will print out true. In order the expression is evaluated as shows. First, the um, not boolean operator in false returns true. Second, true and false evaluates the false. Finally, the remaining um, expression true or false evaluates the true. Come on, it was all right there. Um, so, line, line 4 has a code statement that is incomplete. Use each boolean operator no more than once to replace the empty comments. The code statement should print out false. So, um, line 4 has a code statement that is incomplete. Use each no more than once. So, like, 5 is less than 2. Okay, this is like math. So five is greater than two. Uh, yeah, I mean greater than two. Um, is true and false. So this is like true. Wait, I'm I'm gonna make comments. True. False. Um, true, false. So I'm gonna, s I think, 
this is or. So, so then if that was or, then that this is true. False. If there's an and, then that would be false. Oh. Okay, so this is false. And so this is false. So, um, okay, so, um, this has to be and. And, so true and false will evaluate to false. Here it will be or. So, um, false or true will always be true. And then here it will be not. Not true will evaluate to false. And yeah, false. Let's get familiar with um, how relational equality and Boolean operators can be used to control the flow of our code. We'll start by um, exploring the if statement. In Java, the keyword if is the first part of a conditional expression. It is followed by a Boolean expression and then a block of code. If the Boolean expression evaluates to true, the block of code that will that follows will be run. Here's an example of the if statement used with a conditional expression. So what this means is if like it's like I figured out like it's like a sentence is like if nine is greater than two two if if it's true that nine is greater than two then print out control flow rocks. In the example above 9 greater than 2 is the boolean expression that gets checked. Since the boolean expression 9 is greater than 2 is true, control flow rocks will be printed to the console. The if statement is not followed by a semicolon. Instead, it uses curly brackets to surround the code block that gets run when the boolean expression is true. The if statement, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, if, if 5 is less than 9 and it is then it should say access granted sometimes we execute one block of code when the expression but when the boolean expression after the if um keyword is true other times we may want to execute a different block of code when the boolean ex expression is false we can write a second if statement with a boolean expression that is Opposite the first, yeah, we can write But Java provides a shortcut called the if else conditional. The if else conditional will run the block of code associated with the if statement if its Boolean expression evaluates to true. Otherwise, if the Boolean expression evaluates to false, it will run the block of code after the else keyword. So, if one is is less than three and five is less than four. Since that's false, I defy the boolean loss. Else, if other, it, yeah. So, but this means otherwise. If it does, is if it's something else than this. System dot out that print line. You can thank George Boole. In the example above, the exp the boolean expression one is less than three and five is less than. Four. Four, evaluates the false. The code within the if block will be skipped, and the code inside the else block will run inside. The code, the text you can thank George Bull will print, will be printed in the console. So we're gonna use that. If the if and else statement in the code and currently prints out the code in the if block. Modify the um if statement it's boolean. So I'm just gonna do. Not, and then we're gonna have to add parentheses, I think, because that's what they we've been using. And yeah, success. Good work. In some cases, we need to execute a separate block of code depending on which on different boolean expressions. For that case, we can use the if else if else statement in Java. The if the boolean after the if statement evaluates the true, it will run the code bl block that directly follows. Otherwise, if the boolean 
expression after the else if statement evaluates the true the code block that will that directly follow will run. Finally, if all previous boolean expressions evaluate to false, the code within the else block will run. Here's an example of control flow with the if error. Okay. Issue size is um, greater than 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting a little lazy here. In the example above, the int variable shoe size is equal to ten, equal to ten, which is not greater than twelve, but it is greater than or equal to six. Therefore, the code, therefore the code block after the else if statement will be run. Yeah, so, um, the int variable shoe size is equal to ten. The int variable shoe size is equal to 10. Yeah. Set the value of round variable so that the code in the if else if block runs. Round is greater than 0. Yeah, so I'm just going to say it is 5. And the m match is underway. I'm guessing, yeah, that works. If else statements can become lengthy even when you simply want to return a value depending on a Boolean expression. Fortunately, Java provides a shortcut that allows you to write if else statements in a single line of code. Um, it is called the ternary conditional statement. The term ternary comes from a Latin word that means the, composed of three parts. The three parts are a Boolean expression, a single statement that gets executed if the Boolean expression is true, a single statement that gets executed if the Boolean expression is false. So here's an example of a ter ternary conditional statement. So int, int point scored is 21, char game, game result. Um, um, point scored is, if point scored is, like, greater than 20, yeah, uh, WL, this is not out, dot print line, game result, win, lose, so, um, so I'm guessing what it means is that if point scored is greater than 20, then do W. The question mark probably means it. then do W. If, but then the colon means if not, then do L. In the example above, the int variable called point scored is equal to 21. The Boolean expression is points, um, the point score, if point score, point scored is greater than 20, which evaluates the true. This will, um, return the value of W, which is assigned to the variable game result. The value of W is printed to the console. Can set the can drive variable equal to the ternary expression. Um, so parentheses fuel level um, is greater than zero. Then say yes. Oops. Wait. Single. Why? If not, then no. Yes. The conditional statements that we have covered so far require um, Boolean expressions to, t to determine which code blocks block to run. Java also provides a way to execute code blocks. Yeah. Um, based on whether a block is equal to a specific value. For those specific cases, we can use the switch statement, switch statement, which help, helps keep the code organized and less wordy. The switch statement is used as shown. Integer restaurant rating uh, three. Switch restaurant rating. So case one. System dot out that print line. So it's not my favorite. And so. Um, in the example above, we assign 
the int variable the restaurant rating a value of three. The code will print a message to to console based on the value of of restaurant rating. In this case, the restaurant is fantastic is printed to the console. So it's like so the number is three. So this means if the restaurant rating is one, then this restaurant is not my favorite. Then the break the break statement will exit the switch statement. So it stops um the case or else it'll like I don't know. Like crash a browser, I don't know, it goes on forever. Stop going down. Um after a condition is met. Yeah, so the condition is done, you need to use it. Without the break statement, Java will continue to check whether the value of rate restaurant rating matches in any other cases. So yeah, yeah, that's what happens. So if it was two, the restaurant is good. If it was three, which is now, this restaurant is fantastic. Default. The default case is printed only if restaurant rating is not equal to an integer. Um, with the value of one, two, or three. So I've never dined at this restaurant. Um, there. Um, the so the integer value is there. There is no value if it's not one, two, or three. Then I've never dined at this restaurant. Set the code under the default case to um to um system. Oh, there's already a print. Uh, system dial that print line statement messy messy is in position um and then run look at the um code in the co code editor So sorry about that pause, um, a little disturbance there. Look at the code in the code editor. Set the um, char variable um, penalty kick value to, um, so penalty kick to L, R, O, C. So wait, we're going to have to break this um so we're gonna have to do this to LRC I'm just gonna do L there and Meshi shoots to the left and scores um great work control flow allows Java programs to execute code blocks depending on boolean expressions um, what did we learn about control flow so far? Boolean operations and or and um, oops, and did not are used to build Boolean expressions and have a defined order of operations statements. If 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 else and if else if else statements are used to con um conditionally execute blocks of code. A ternary conditional, a shortened version of an if, if else statement that returns a value based on the value of a Boolean expression switch allows us to check e equality of a variable or expression with the value that does not need to be a Boolean. Instructions Number one, use the pre precedence rules to help you evaluate the Boolean expression in the single line comment above the tricky variable. So you see so um then set the boolean variable tricky equal to um the result either true or false. So um three is greater than or equal to three so it is equal to so that would be true. Tr true or true this is true and the not true is false, so true and false is false. So, um, the um variable boo um that's a boolean. The value is um false, and that should be correct. 
Stuck in the past, I'm not sure where that train goes. Use a Boolean expression that will print out the code in the else block or the if else um, statement. Um, code in the else block. Of the, so, so it'll probably have to be else if. If trick so if tricky is equal to false, I'm guessing we should just do hope that works and probably not. Let me put the message in the OS block. Fine, I'm gonna try that without the if. And, uh, oh, wait, sorry. Ah, oh, I was being kind of dumb right there. If 2015 is greater than 2016, there. Yeah, simple. Why didn't I think of that? I'm getting to the future. I'm not sure where that train goes. Set the value of the invariable subway train equal to the case that will print this is a book Brooklyn train so that's five run oh yeah we, so yeah we did that so yeah that's pretty much it for this video please subscribe P please like thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye oh and by the way the um next video should be pretty fun so yeah that's it for this video yeah and bye bye